Good morning and welcome back to a yard sailing video. I'm just getting my act together in the office before we head out early morning to try and find some yard sales and try and find some cool things to pick and flip for a profit. So stay tuned to the rest of the video to see all of that go down. But before I head out the door, I am going to give a shout out to one of my favorite and frequent sponsors, Vendu. If you've been on my channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I have worked with Vendu multiple times at this point and that I use them personally. Every single month, I pay out of pocket for their services. Basically, Vendu is a cross posting software it's a subscription service you pay for it every single month you can actually pick and choose a lot of the different features that you want so for instance I always select the D-list and Realist feature because I need the ability to go in as soon as I sell an item on one of my platforms to pull it down off of the other like three or four that it's listed on so I don't accidentally sell it twice I've been there before I don't want to go back I also always make sure to add the import feature to my particular subscription because I like to list my things initially on eBay and then go ahead and import all of that information straight to Vendu so that I can push it out to all of my other platforms. So everything comes from eBay from my photos to my description, the weight of the item, the dimensions, all of those little details straight onto the Vendu interface and then from there I go ahead and cross post personally to Poshmark, Etsy and Macari. The whole thing is super streamlined, it's just part of my day at this point. I don't know where I would be without it, probably not cross posting things half as effectively because it takes away all of my excuses. Each listing really only takes like one to two minutes to do so I'm left without any any reason to procrastinate on cross-listing those items. If you are interested in trying Vendu for yourself, then as always, there is an affiliate link down below, but it does give you 25% off of your first month, just in case you want to give it a go and see if it helps you with your business as well. On a personal note, I'm trying to up the amount of listings that I'm doing right now. I'm trying to like double down and get as many things listed as possible, ready for fourth quarter that is almost upon us. And as you can imagine, Vendu is a great way to help me achieve that. All right, you guys, without further ado, let's go yard sailing. His name is Tom, though. Hello, how are you? Hi. Good, how are you? Very well, thank you. Good, good. I knew that someday, uh, hi, someday I would meet you. <laughs> Because it's I watch nice. you all the time. Do you? It's nice yes, to meet you. What's I your, do. What's it's your name? Maria. Maria. And I, I'm on your thing all the time. Yes. Talking all the time. <laughs> I got in trouble the other day with that one lady. I think she she got oh, mad dear. at me because I told her, it's none of your business what's at those people's house. Oh. And she ended up taking the whole thing <laughs> yeah, down. Yeah, I got you. Oh, whatever. <laughs> but I'm like, I heard your voice and I said, I know her. There you she's go. in my room every day. <laughs> well, it is doing? so nice to meet you. I'm doing good. Thank you. I'm hot. Nice oh, my it is goodness. Hot, yes. <laughs> but it was just so funny. My sister in law just started too and she's like, yeah. You're me. You've never seen. I said, No, I don't know. She goes, to the garage sales. <laughs> Oh, and I yeah. Said, I don't know. I don't know where she goes because I don't see any oh, of the stuff she sees. I'm so glad I got to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> so cool. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm going to take a picture with you. Oh, yeah, you do it. Here, so can I? Do you care if I take my mask off? No, I don't. Okay, care. cool. I'm going to let my sister in law be like, <laughs> No way. She's going to be like, Whoa! <laughs> so excited. Oh, Thank it you. was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, honey. Oh, I'm not sure there's nothing like no way. <laughs> Can I ask how much your converse are? Which ones? Uh, these ones and these ones. Oh, Which thank ones? you. Uh, these ones here and then these ones. These are five. Okay. And he will, those are collectors. He might make you a deal. Gotcha, gotcha. Ten on these. Ten on those ones? Five on them. All right. Thank you very much. Have you found anything good today? Um, I went to an estate slash garage sale. I've never guessed. Oh. I found a couple of really nice things. Sure. I found a Harley Davidson jacket that's really Oh, cool. Nice. We'll see what I can Yeah, um, yeah. Prices are negotiable. We had a little store. Oh, and yeah. So, a lot of stuff is the store price. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Where are you from? England, originally. <laughs> I have a friend from England. London. Oh, London? Steph yeah. Bloom. Oh, uh, you probably no, probably her. not. I used to live in London, though, for a few years. Oh, she married uh, the guy that won the voice. That oh, really? 
photographs for oh. Chris Blue, and I thought maybe you might know her because of that. But oh, you're, you're, I've probably been just, over here too long now for that, I imagine. Well, the voice was here, but you'd have oh, to be in. I guess you got to be a local to follow Chris Blue. You may be. That's cool. She doesn't like my England accent. She says oh, no. I don't even get I like to listen to her try to talk with an American accent. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, so that, I cannot do that. <laughs> we kind of mock each other back and forth. Oh. She said, that's not good, Lisa. <laughs> she said, hey, oh. try it. How funny. So a lot of this stuff is antique, unique stuff. But he's, yeah. He's willing to make a deal. Oh, that's great. I can't believe that little boy wanted this. Oh. What do you want to take away for? Over here, I like these. I like, oh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I'm, yeah, I like these. These are these were cool too. I like yeah, those. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm the price I was yeah, he said ten. I think for ten I might take yeah, a chance. Yeah, kind of cool. Kind of cool. We'll see. I think I can. Yeah, we'll give it a try. <laughs> no, I don't care about that. <laughs> oh. Some unique stuff out there. There is. There is. Have you been through the whole neighborhood yet? No, I just started. Yeah, it's good. I saw the sign. I went, oh yes. Definitely keep going because a lot of people are ready to pack up and they're making, and deals, making deals. So yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Nicely. Oh, you too. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Hope to see you again. <laughs> I asked you once, but you ignored me because, like, you have a squelch from my room. Tuning out. Brian, you're going to see that. I've borrowed my vent for a minute. We go and stand on the air vent. Oh. <laughs> really the simple things in life. Yes, it is. You're not wrong. You got to stand on this vent. It feels really good. <laughs> I have a pair of Union Jack ones of those. Do you seriously? How cool. How much are these ones? Do you know? Is this the price that's on uh, it? It's, well, you take, you take 40 for those, right? 40? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll think on those ones. Thank yeah. you. All right, I, I think Union I'm going to. I like those, but those are too small. Yes. And I mean, I photographed them and won an award for <laughs> shooting them off that rock right there. <laughs> cool. All right, so I have 15 inch shoes and I wasn't sure how much the little Donald was. Uh, five. Five for him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's from the 70s. That's kind of vintage. Oh, is it? Yeah. I give you that. Yeah, 20 made... right there for you. Thank you very they much. Made, uh, one pair in each size. Okay. Oh, yeah. And each journey you got one size of each pair. Oh, wow. And, that was it. and the same with the Union Jack. Yes. But now you'll see a American ones that are screen printed. They're dime a dozen. Yeah, but yeah. So long that are stitched on. That's cool. Let me check the size. They're smaller than. I see. Them. I think they're girls six. Yep. Well, they're neat for sure. They are neat. Everybody wants to buy the dog. We said a million, but we get the we get. The, and they had this black river thing, and all of a sudden she's running. And, <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> I'm gonna do the converse if that's okay. You said 40 on these ones here. Thank you very much. There we go. Thank you. Will you double check it, make sure I got it right? <laughs> it's been you a long did. day. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Have a good uh, are one. Are you wearing a GoPro? I am, yes. Okay. I have a YouTube channel about finding secondhand stuff basically oh, okay. and like treasure oh, cool. if you like out and about. So it's fun, it's a hobby. Did you find any here? I did, I found some really fun things. My Donald Duck might be my favorite. That's for our collection, so. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you all so much. Enjoy. Have a good one. Yesterday, it thank you. Down Was it really? Yeah. Rare stuff. Yeah, y'all have been busy. I have seen okay. everyone in the neighborhood, yeah. so crazy. Well, thank you again. Thank you.
Oh. Yeah, do you know if it, does it work? Yeah. Does it? Okay, cool. Yeah, it was uh, my mom's. Cool, though. But it's just more of a decor. It came from yeah. um, uh, Bliss. I paid oh, for it. gotcha. But, um, but yeah, once you is put, this how it attaches, or did so I make you, that up? <laughs> it is. Okay, gotcha. So you mount it right here. Gotcha. And then once it's on there, you can do it like this, and it goes back and forth. Uh, it doesn't really work right now. It's yes. Like not on the wall, but yeah. It does All work, right. So. I was just curious. We were curious. That's about cool. It. I am absolutely. So if you want it or not, but I just. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Would you take? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Would you take five for it? I'm gonna take eight because it was actually a $60 clock. Oh, okay, okay. No, I understand. Sorry, I no, I understand. So it actually might have been more than that. So that's fine. I thought about keeping it, but I have an elephant one for my daughter. Yeah, so like, eh, I'll do for eight. Thank you very Thank much. together all right so there we go if you have one that'd be awesome thank you england originally <laughs> thank you very much i appreciate that oh i was not expecting you to oh you got the little thing i do he's right there behind him thank you so much y'all have a nice day thank you thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for our sense of peace. <laughs> Thank Great you very day. much. Have a good day. You Alright you guys, welcome to the haul. So, three yard sales worth here, although I only got a couple of bits at each yard sale. Let's start with this guy down here. Um, so, I have never seen a piece like this before, but it is definitely interesting. It has a very sort of signature look to it, I think. You know, you could definitely tell this artist from a mile away. And it does have the little pendulum with it too. It was marked on the back Allen Designs and it piqued my interest enough to look it up at the yard sale and it looks like they can be worth quite a bit. Some of them go for like 30, some of them go for 50. I actually couldn't find any exactly in this design so I'm probably going to go a little higher with mine since I can't find any exact comps. Um, they were asking eight. I asked her if she would do five on it. She really did not want to budget all which is totally fine so I did end up paying the eight dollars that was asked and you know I'm happy to do that and take a chance and see if this piece is really worth something. I also grabbed an iPod shuffle for $10 there. Probably paid up a little bit too much for this honestly but I did see a recent comp that sold for $30 plus shipping where it had the charger and the iPod as 
well scrolling down a bit more after i got home it looks like they're more likely to go around the 20 to 25 dollar mark i'm still gonna list mine towards 30 dollars and wait till christmas time i'm pretty sure somebody will snag this but looking back i probably shouldn't have paid quite that much we'll see it may turn out all right in the end it is in good shape though not many scratches or anything like that all right i only got a few little things at this yard sale there was a bunch of stuff there that i would have been interested in a bunch of like vintage toys and a nintendo ds Lite. unfortunately they were asking 50 dollars on the ds and look at comps that exact one was selling on ebay for 40 to 50 so really absolutely no room for profit whatsoever same with the toys i think they were very hit or miss there were quite a lot of condition issues and they were asking really high dollar for them so i decided to leave those behind and um, but i did pick up just a few little odds and ends uh, so don't laugh at me but i paid 25 cents for this bag and then 25 cents for this thing in here as well I'll just put them together these are just a whole lot of butterfly clips okay so i am pretty certain looking at them that these are vintage ones from from the 90s especially because they're in here with like a bunch of vintage barrettes and things like that these took me back to my childhood so darn fast that i had to grab them i'm gonna sell them as a lot i think someone out there will want these i could be wrong call it a one quarter experiment but i think somebody would love these in their life with the tiny little butterfly clips to twist their hair and uh, do them all across their head just like we used to do in the 90s and early 2000s <laughs> let me know what you think down in the comments will somebody want to do that i don't know um, and then i also got this little kiss lock purse it is quite small as you can see but it is pink leather and it is by fossil i figured for 25 cents a fossil purse you really can't go wrong people love their kiss lock um, wallets anyway i'll probably list it for like 9.99 or so all right and then at the back so i'm going to show you him real quick i paid five dollars for him which is probably way too much but he's for our personal collection <laughs> this is not a resale item i do believe he is from the 1970s just from doing a little bit of research and from what the guy said as well he is a squeaky toy and i think he is both cute and hideous at the same time <laughs> so he's gonna sit on our disneyana shelves and watch my husband while he works that's the plan with donald and then we have these so i paid up for these converse also i'm just gonna jump in here and say i met a viewer there maria it was so nice to meet you maria i am so glad you came over and said hello it was a pleasure and um, but back to the converse i did pay up a little bit i'll tell you why so i paid five dollars for these ones also can we talk about how amazing magic eraser is like the all these shoes are used how good did they look i'm so glad that i found that and i have that in my reselling life now i have to say um so five dollars for these i would have paid five dollars for these no matter where honestly because they have this sort of high top look to them not quite a high top but kind of in the middle and then they have these spell out all the way around and like i said they're in pretty decent shape overall especially after having a cleanup and um, i'm hoping to get at least 35 for these shoes these ones are sort of limited edition i suppose you could say catwoman shoes um they are high tops though those can do really well the DC comic collaborations can do well I had a Batman Joker pair that sold for 50 not long ago and um, so I paid ten dollars for these ones and I'm hoping to get around the same kind of price there around 50 or so for these and then these ones so I paid forty dollars for these shoes and um, they gave me a whole story about how these are limited edition and um, I think it was Justice only got like each store only got one pair in each size is what they told me and so they're really hard to get a hold of I wasn't too sure when i got back to the car i did look at some more comps and i realized that number one they were really hard to find and when i say hard to find i'm not talking stars and stripes you can find a lot of those but they're all screen printed these ones as you can see are all sewn on and distressed this is what differentiates this particular pair of high top converse shoes and then i found three listed and um, i found one listed for 400 one listed for 300 and then another one on a totally different website not ebay listed for 300 again and then i found one sold for 400 but i think they actually had relisted that pair but they'd sold once they just had to relist them maybe the person cancelled or returned who knows so overall here is my thinking for 40 dollars, i know i can sell these shoes i'm pretty sure i could get 40 to 50 for them anyway just because they're down cool and they're in good shape overall so really my downside is just a little bit of time like my time that it takes to clean them up and list them and there's not really a lot of financial downside there so with that in mind i decided to give them a go list them high and see what happens stay tuned i will let you know when they sell in like a what sold video or something along those lines but uh hopefully they're as good as they look to be when i've been doing my research we will see all right thank you for coming along with me to today's yard sales you guys if you enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here and you like yard selling and flipping stuff online for a profit then don't forget to 
to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you never miss a video. As usual, if you're looking for a friendly Facebook group, you can check out mine thrift nice link down below in the description. And if you're looking for any fun reseller or thrifting themed merchandise like t-shirts, fanny packs, hoodies, masks, anything like that, you can check out my Teespring store linked down below as well. All right, you guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye!